Hi, I'm Glenn. I'll be your instructor for Summer Art 110. So our class obviously is online, and if you know synchronous and asynchronous, um, you know, normal, when it isn't a pandemic, face-to-face -face classes are synchronous. We go to a room, we all meet together. Um, with the pandemic, we've had a lot of synchronous online Zoom classes where we still have a time slot and we meet and do the Zoom thing. So this class, actually, it's not changed because of the pandemic. Summer Art 110 has always been this way. It's um, asynchronous. So there is no time slot, which has good news and bad news. Um, the great news is that you can go home for summer. You don't have to be in Long Beach, which <laughs> probably many of you, or some of you anyway, maybe went home a while back already, given the pandemic. But it's kind of cool that you can uh, you know, go back to Stockholm or Hong Kong or Fresno um, or wherever and still take the class, work on your degree. You don't have to get up in the middle of the night to meet up on Zoom or something because it's all, you know, we all, all we have is a Sunday night, California time, midnight deadline for each week's work, but it's all on your own. So that's really quite convenient, I think, for a lot of you. Um, the downside, of course, is that it's, it's harder to meet each other, which is actually why our first week's activity is going to be to make vlogs, um, which is both a good choice and a bad choice <laughs> for the first week. The, well, let's do the bad part first. The bad part is that it's kind of intimidating for, for some students, uh, and I apologize for that. Um, so in some ways it shouldn't be the first week because I hope everybody doesn't drop out of fear that, you know, talking to a camera is too much. Uh, it's the only time we're going to do it this summer. So um, hopefully it won't be that big a deal. You'll survive, I hope. Uh, so I know it's stressful and I, I'm sorry about that. But what's cool about it is that in a class where it's really kind of tough for us to meet each other, vlogging is a nice way for us to, to get a peek, you know, to, to, to see each other's faces so we'll, we'll learn that we're all human and to get a little bit of an idea of, you know, what your major or your hobbies or your plans after graduation or whatever you want to talk about in your vlog might be. So, um, so give it a shot. I hope it's not too intense or, or creepy for anybody. <laughs> Basically, our scenario is going to be, so there are, no, there are no tests, exams, quizzes, midterm final. There's none of that stuff. It's just 12 weeks of summer. And each week, we're going to do two things. We're going to try an art activity, a different activity every week. Um, and then we're going to do a little research. We're going to have kind of a theme this week's vlogging. And so we'll look up an artist, or this particular week we have two artists. Actually, I think we'll have two artists a number of times probably that you can, com you can do a little digging into their careers and compare and contrast. Um, so hopefully between trying an activity and looking up some people who do it, it'll give you a sense of things. Um, you all are going to be coming from different places and have different ideas about what art is. Um, but I know, you know, for many people, you say art, and the first thing probably that comes to our mind is painting and drawings. Like, oh, I saw this, you know, Picasso or this Rembrandt or whatever you might have seen at a museum. And certainly painting has been an extraordinary part of art, not just for hundreds of years, but in fact for, you know, 40,000 years at least. Um, however, ultimately, particularly in our century, in your century, um, you know, in the past, art has had different jobs, it served different functions. But in our time, I would argue that art is less about the medium. It's not art because it's a painting um, or, you know, it's not art. It's not not art because it's not a painting. It's and more about the intent of the artist. So um, I'll talk more about that in the future. I don't want to go off too much in that right now because uh, I don't want this video to be too long. But Suffice to say that it's really about the intention to communicate. Um, when you ask students what art is, often people will say art is expression. It's not the only thing art is, but certainly that's a powerful aspect of art, is whether it's a painting or a video or a performance art piece or a flash mob um, or, you know, baking a cake, that it's some way for you to comment on your own life or critique the larger culture, etc. So for each of our 12 weeks, we'll try different media. Um, and even though we're kind of seeing the light at the end of the pandemic tunnel, I'll try to set these up so that you can use stuff that's around the house. So if some of you want 
to wander off to the art store and you know get paint or something, you can, but you'll be able to do these activities without being forced to leave the house um, if that's not something you're currently doing. Um, so each 12 weeks, two things a week, um, we're going to make blogs. Uh, and I guess I would say both blogging, which we'll do every week to post our work, and vlogging, which we'll only do the first week, are incredible tools, really powerful ways to communicate. So I, you know, whatever your career, whether it's engineering or business marketing or dance or, you know, it could be a lot of different things, but this ability to make a website, make a blog, and share content with people is really powerful, can really kind of up your game, I think. And again, I appreciate that vlogging is not for everyone, but if, if, it, if it is comfortable for you or if you can get to a place where it's comfortable, vlogging is a really powerful way to, to put yourself out there and connect to the world. So that's kind of our plan. Um, I've posted a bunch of things on Beachboard already and links to our website, which you may well have seen already. So um, just dive in, give it a shot, email me with any questions and we can talk by email. I'm available to hop on Zoom anytime if you want face to face or video to video um, help with anything or just want to, you know, whether it's, you know, just how do I do this or, you know, I'm intimidated by vlogging or whatever it might be. Um, or, you know, talking about art and ideas or how art maybe can relate to the different careers that we're all uh, in here. We have really a nice mix of freshmen, juniors, sophomore, <laughs> freshmen, sophomores, juniors, seniors this summer um, and a bunch of different majors, um, some computer science, some business, film and electronic arts, a couple of English majors. So it's a really nice diverse group. Um, so welcome. I hope you have a great summer. I think that our activities will hopefully be uh, not too stressful. I hope maybe vlogging will be the worst one. I don't know. Um, and that there, you know, each week I'll try to, in my blog post each week uh, for you, I'll, I'll have a little section called useful and I'll try to not only talk about um, you know, what art thing we're doing and how it relates to art ideas, but how, uh, I think we actually have one art major in the class, but the other 29 of you are not art majors. So in my useful section, I'll try to talk about how um, this art activity could actually be useful in your business career, your engineering career, your communication studies career, you know, wherever you're headed off to. So um, welcome, have a great summer, really happy to be meeting you. Again, you know, the online thing is a little disconnected, is a little bit weird. Um, although, as I say, this, this is the way summer Art 110 has always been. So this isn't actually not changed because of the pandemic. This is just, you know, the summer class is designed to give you that freedom to be anywhere in the world and, and you know, work at the hour of your choice. So shout if I can help with anything or just want to chat about anything and have a great summer. See you online.